All right, guys, I thought today we're going to do some planking and start the weekend right. So, some of the basics of planking. If you have a really weak core and you're just a beginner, you can start the plank leaning against the wall, making sure you have a nice straight body, pushing with the arms straight up, making sure that the core is engaged. If you're kind of intermediate, you can get into your knees. Same thing, nice long line here, making sure the hips are not sticking out or the lower back sinking in. Hands right up under the shoulders, nice long neck. Now, if you have knee problems, you certainly want to avoid that. You don't want to be on your knees and be especially careful with rocking onto your knees. And then the full plank is right here. Nice long line. Hips are not sticking up. Lower back is not sinking down. Once again, the hands are right under the shoulders. Also, the neck, be mindful of that. A lot of times what you see is this. People just let the head go. That's part of your plank. So you hold it there nice and tall. So the one thing about the plank is... I call it the secret of the plank is I think it's very important that you push with your arms up. And that's something that really Pilates has taught me. Is the more you push with the arms up, the more of an engagement you're going to feel into your core. So that really helps. A lot of times what happens is people start sinking in into their shoulders and then that gets really hard. So that's that. Let's plank. And I thought today we're going to shoot for two minutes, just straight plank. And then next week, um, we can add some variations and making the plank more fun for um, those of you that are more advanced. So before you need to be against the wall onto your knees or straight plank, position the hands right under the shoulders. I have the timer right here. And I'll start it right now, going for two minutes. Of course, do what you can. If you need to take a break, take a break and join us when you uh, can again. Let's go. Nice and tall. Keep pushing with the arms. Make sure that the bottom stays down. Long neck. And hold. This is one of the exercises that after I had my baby, I had C-section. I had zero core power left. And I did a ton of planks. I did a ton of Pilates. And that really helped me recover and get my core strong again. So I have high respect for this exercise. So hold, make sure you're breathing. Like I said, if you need to take a break, certainly feel free to do so. If you feel any kind of physical discomfort, absolutely stop. But then also try to engage your mind. I always say, the minute the mind gives up, that's when the body gives up. So wait a minute, one more minute. Hold. Keep pushing straight up with the arms. Keep squeezing the bottoms. Keep those heels together, that keeps the bottom engaged. And breathe. Almost there. 40 seconds left. And just enjoy. Almost there. Down to 30 seconds. Just think how strong you're getting right now. Feel the burn. Actually, it feels kind of good in a weird way. 20 seconds, less than 20 seconds left. I have a bad habit of sticking my head up from teaching and looking around the room. So be mindful of that neck. And take it down to your knees. Stretch back. You should not feel any of that exercise into your lower back. If you do, that means that you're probably not engaging your core enough. So if that means you're probably singing into your back. Pull the belly up and just hold it up. Hope you enjoy it. We will do more next week. Have a great weekend. Bye.